best things about race tab three is how flexible its import mechanisms are as far as importing the results or importing entries or importing athletes. Um, it's so flexible, in fact, it's sometimes a little bit intimidating. Um, what I'm going to show you is, is importing some results. Um, this might not be the most useful tutorial for a lot of people, and I'll do, uh, do another tutorial on uh, importing entries, uh, but this is going to help some people with uh, getting the results put in here. So what, I'm gonna, what I have is three different formats of results that usually prove difficult, and uh, we always like to reformat. So the first one is, uh, is, is some results formatted in Raceberry Jam format. So what I'm going to do over here, you can't see me, but I am uh, highlighting some neat results. And so I just highlight them, drag them, and drop it right in there into the event pops up this new window for me to import into limited format. Uh, so we open this up and uh, it's not looking too good. It, it, it didn't do anything uh, to, to, to separate our, our format. But if we click fix with results because these are race spirit jam, you'll see it did a pretty darn good job, right? It got everything. The, the, the goal here is that we want to get everything into columns. Every single piece of data needs to be in a separate column. This looks good except for you'll see that the part that wasn't fixed with was the gray is in here mixed with the name. That's going to cause us some problems. So what we want to actually do is this new hybrid option that I uh, introduced, which is a combination of fixed with and the uh, text limiter format. So if I uncheck text here and I check comma, you'll see suddenly it broke that out for me and it looks beautiful, right? So now we all, all we have to do is we have to tell it what column everything is. You can leave it on place. I usually ignore place. I don't know why. It works just as well as if you don't, but it will do place automatically, so it's not really necessary. Uh, so we do full name, grade, this is the time, and this is the team. So we tell what all of our columns are, click OK, and it will import those. there. Uh, it also imported those athletes, imported those teams. Beautiful. Um, so uh, so there, there they are. Um, we're done with this event. We can just click score. And we'll uh, finalize the event so that it'll print. Um, Alright, I got another set of results here that, that I want us to look at. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go over to this other race here. And th these are results from a newspaper. Uh, which are all formatted, all crunched together. So this is going to create, make us be a little bit creative. So I drag and drop this in there, and you look at it and you're like, oh no, you know, this is hopeless. Uh, no, it's not hopeless. Have a little faith, right? So this this doesn't look good at all. The high reformat doesn't help us. The fixed width doesn't help us. We're just screwed. Now we click Edit Source here, and uh, so we see all this. And what we need to do is look for a pattern here. So the first pattern I notice is between two places. Um, is a comma in this case. So we do a comma here and then the, uh, the shortcut here for a new line is slash n for new, new line. We do that, breaks those down. Oh, well for some reason they started with comma separating it now. They separate it with a semicolon. So we have a semicolon. It does that. Okay, we're getting better, getting better. Um, but uh, we notice this space here at the start. Um, that's, that's no good. I don't want that space. It's annoying. So I'm going to do uh, where there's a line break and then there's a space. We just want a line break. And it uh, fixes that for me. All right, now we need to start separating this into columns. So the first thing I want to, uh, let's start from the, from the side here. Um, so we notice when there's a, a dot and a space, we want to do a tab. So it's a slash T for a tab. It separates that out. Um, and that actually did double duty for us because it separated the first name and the last name. And, uh, and the place. So that's good. Um, now we want to separate the team out. So whenever we see space and a open parentheses, separate that out. And wherever we see a closed parentheses and a space, separate that out. And that looks pretty darn good. Let's see how that looks. Looks like we have our columns there. You can ignore these blank lines at the end. It, it won't import this. So that won't matter. Um, so, say what all every column is, 
this is the first name, this is the last name, this is the team, and this is the time. example is, uh, is race, uh, I think it's run score actually is the full program up one I'm not positive though. So I'm going to drag and drop these in there and uh, it's like a mess, right? Let me show you what these look like. Uh, show you what these look like first. I'm going to cancel this. Um, so you see, this is what's going to be our problem here. Um, is that uh, sometimes it skips this line, so that's really going to throw us off pretty darn good. Um, so let's do this again. Let me pull them over. All right. So again, it, it's uh, you know we do the fix with, and it's kind of good, but not completely good, right? Um, so. What we're going to do is we're going to tell Racetab to look for a pattern. So Racetab is going to read through these and see if it can find anything. Well, kind of did, kind of did, right? So um, what I need to do now is we can actually customize these. Uh, so we'll change that to 12. And we'll see, okay, we got that a little bit better. Uh, we're going to change this. Th and this is the character spacing. So we're going to change this. We need to come over two characters because we see that 2, 0. Uh, so we need two, we got that. We're going to pull this one back to that. And uh, slowly but surely, we are getting there. Pull this back to, and uh, let's see how we're looking now. So it looks like we have to pull everything back pretty much too. looking pretty darn good, I think, except for this one is off here. If you've got one line that's off, um, sometimes it's easier rather than, you know, killing yourself to death over it, is um, say, oh, okay, well, that's why this one's off. So, 